Hello everyone, I am back with another lesson. Today we are going to create our first controller and we are going to create this controller by the G module that we spoke about I think in the second or third lesson. So make sure that this module is uncommented and you can use it. Uh, give it a password, whatever you wish and let's go to this module and create our first controller let's start php question mark r equals g okay the password is root enter now we are going to generate our controller so the controller that we are going to generate is a user controller. So I'll push by user, user. And let's preview this. Now as you can see, I agree we are going to generate this user controller.php file. And we are also going to generate another folder within the views folder. And we are going to create another index.php file like i said in an earlier episode in an earlier lesson every controller has its own folder for example the site controller has its own folder the site folder so now we are creating the user controller so it will have its own folder the user folder so let's generate these two files okay generating was successfully generated okay good now let's see, go and see the files that we have created now i'm going to refresh my project so eclipse knows that the file is created okay. this is the controller that we have created public function action index so now let's navigate to this action how do we do that? R equals user user and the action that we need is index. Yes, now this page loads the index file right here. In the views there is a user dump user directory. In the user directory there is this index file. Okay, now we'll change this. Now we know, now we have created our user controller and we have created and the module G has generated as an index file as well. Now what we are going to do is something that we did last time as well. We are going to get, we are going to get the model, uh, we are going to get some database records from the database and we are going to send that database to this views file. How do we are get, okay, let's first get the data from the database we are going to we are going to get the data from the users table that we created in an earlier lesson okay this is the record that we are going to retrieve so we are going to con we are going to call users model I hope you have watched the previous two lessons, two or three lessons, because uh, in that lesson I explained about the users class that this is a model class. Actually, here I can show you the model, the users model, and we have we have called the static method model, and we have called this find all function. Now, now the records of now the rec database record has been stored in this variable now what we want to do is we want to send this data send this variable to the views file it's pretty easy to do in uh, e all we have to do is uh, pass an array create an array 
name of the variable let's say users and other users pretty simple now we can access this users variable from from the from the views file so let's do that let's create a for each tag for each for each users as user we want to echo the user sorry user username so what let's view this there you go so now what we have done is we have gotten this record from the database the user controller has called the user's model and called and got taken is all of its records and put into a variable called users and in this we are now by passing this array we have now given access to uh, now we have sent in this users variable to the views file so always remember the views file and it identifies the identifies the variable by this name not by this name for i can change this to test and now i have to access the access this these values from the views file by the test variable not by users refresh okay now we'll add another record and see what happens. Insert John and the password is password. now let's see what happens. We'll refresh, we'll put in a break tag. what now we have we have uh, now we have called the model class we have gotten data records from the database and now we are sending those uh, now we have the ability to send them to the views file and the views file does the showing of the results so so we have done a little bit in this lesson in, in the next episode uh, in the next lesson i will talk i will create a crud application crud application using the g tool a crud generator and we'll create a form where we can enter the username and the password and save it in this table okay until then uh, happy days uh, uh, happy days. Bye-bye.